Hi everybody, this is Ian Lamont, founder of i30 Media Corporation and author of the Lean Media book blog and video channel available from leanmedia.org. Today I will be talking about adding custom packaging options uh, in your Shopify store and I'll explain why that's important in a minute. But before I get to that, uh, I just want to say that, um, you know, this is a disclaimer, you're responsible for following Shopify's terms and it's also possible for you to lose money uh, if you don't do things right or if you uh, do not estimate risk in the right way. So please do this at your own risk. Um, so here we are on the Shopify app and what I'm going to tap is the store icon lower right corner this is for the iOS app I think Android is quite similar so just tap store you should see something like this then tap settings then tap shipping and delivery and you'll come to this page and as I've said on my other videos uh, shipping and delivery really is hard to wrap your head around because there's just so much stuff going on but one of the uh, most important early lessons I learned with Shopify is actually uh, setting your package size correctly is super important, especially if you sell things that uh, weigh less than one pound. And the reason why in in the U.S., uh, if if your if your package, including the item that you're shipping, is less than one pound, you qualify for first class packages and first class mail, which is much cheaper than the next grade grade of shipping going up, which is priority mail. So typically for a first class package, I might pay. I don't know, four or five dollars. Uh, if it's priority mail, which is the next level, it'll be more than seven dollars. So I'm, I'm saving money. If you have a lot of packages and they're lightweight packages, making sure that you're setting up your um, packages to be the correct weight is super important because you, first of all, you want an accurate rate so the post office doesn't send it back, but also you want to make sure that you're entering the right weight. Uh, so when you add the, the package and the product that comes and the product that goes in the package, it will accurately accurately reflect what's in there and hopefully uh, for me it will be less than one pound so you can see I have all these different packages including um, postal service packages like a priority mail flat rate envelope so I'm gonna add a new package today and this is a box it's just let's just call it the blue box and it weighs four ounces so when when myself or one of my employees is shipping something if they're going to use the blue box and maybe they use the blue box because it's a holiday season or it's a gift or something like that they can choose it and it will accurately reflect the weight and other things so I'm going to choose custom packaging um, box let's say the box is uh, they're using centimeters so I'm going to change that to inches I like metrics but uh, in the U.S., people use inches, and actually, most of the packaging you buy is in inches, not in not in metrics, uh, centimeters. So this package is uh, six inches long, the width is four inches, and then the height is two inches. So that's a pretty small box. Weight when empty. So uh, first of all, you need to change it to ounces or pounds. The default is kilogram. So I'm going to change that to Oz, which is the short for ounces and then I'm going to tap six Did I say six? Oh, four ounces it's supposed to be four ounces and you can by the way you should check it and also if it's a let's say it's a little bit more than four ounces let's say it's 4.2 ounces you can do that too so just make sure that it is the correct weight name custom box I'm going to just call it blue box blue box and I can add another descriptor like for gifts Okay. If I want to, I can set this as the default package, but only do that if this is really the package type you're using for like, you know, 70 or 80% of your orders. And in this case, because I don't ship that many gifts, I don't need to use the blue box that often. So I'm just going to add package. And you can see, there it is, blue box for gifts. That means uh, when I or my employees are using their Shopify app to select packaging, blue box for gifts will be one of the options. For more information on how to get the most out of Shopify, Amazon Seller Central, um, selling stuff via WordPress or WooCommerce, and also using programs to help sell stuff like Amazon advertising, go to leanmedia.org. I have lots of different videos and blog posts there. Just uh, go to the navigation or tap on blog or video and you can see all of them. And also, if you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to like it or follow me on YouTube. I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching.